trying to get a chartreuse. Blue, I'm actually going to take an electric chartreuse glitter. Sexy shad. Put a little bit of this glitter in there. I believe I tried to do that. Oh boy, what an idiot. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today we are going to be, well, this is part of it. Be making some bait. I've got some baits for a customer and a bait for a fellow YouTuber um, that sent me and Chris a box of goodies. Um, so I want to reciprocate that and send him some baits. It will never be equal to the box of goodies he sent us, um, but at least I can give him something to review and something to catch some fish on. So hang tight, we're gonna make some baits. Don't even really know what colors yet. I need to look at my email and remember that. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in just a second. Let's go. First off, check that out. Isn't that pretty freaking cool? It's got our logo on it. How cool is that? That's a Bandit 200. That is the bait that we love using on the channel. Shout out to uh, Christopher for getting those done. That was, that's pretty freaking awesome. We're gonna be using our brand new bag of bait plastics. This is actually my first time using this Plastisol. You know, normally I'm a dead on plastics guy, but this stuff is supposed to have less air bubbles. So we don't have to compete with all that. It's supposed to be easier to mix up. It's supposed to be really clear. All around, it's supposed to just be a good Plastisol. So this is the medium Plastisol. Um, I do have some softener, <clears throat> as well as some hardener, just in case this isn't just right. We're gonna give this thing a go. You're not supposed to have to mix it as much. Um, so that's pretty good. We're gonna do Half a cup, half a cup, and another half a cup. All right, folks, here is the clear plastic. First impressions, extremely clear, low odor. Uh, I can't complain with this. This is actually pretty good plastic, so I'm pretty happy with it. All right, first one we're gonna do is gonna be an easy one. Should be a knockout. And then it's gonna be black with red flake. Wants these in some Senkos. We got our black mixed in, and now we're gonna mix in some red. Uh, I'm not even gonna count how many scoops. I do all the red by eyeball, especially in black, because that black will hide it so well. So you've uh, really got to uh, pour it on thick when you're putting it in these colors that you can't see through, like, like black. I always end up using a whole lot of glitter in these type of colors. Also, I will get a scoop for this. I'm gonna put in some red fine powder. So I put in some really thick, or uh, some bigger size glitter. This is some smaller size. This just gives it that little bit of extra pop. Um, I really like mixing that little bit of, oh yeah, it's a good looking color right there. So that color's done. That's an easy one, black with red. That's a slam dunk all day long. We're gonna warm this up and then we'll shoot it in the Senko molds. Uh, then I'm also gonna make our uh, YouTube friend some of these in Nightcrawler. Um, and I'm gonna mix up a special color I know he likes. He's mentioned on his YouTube channel before that he likes. See if I can't get that color right. <clears throat> what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna do one and one and another and another in both of these. Uh, the dual injection, mainly because it's super hard to get a full, full Senko with just one injector, like a full pack, like, you know, two molds worth. While we're waiting on these guys, because that's going to take it a minute, because I may have screwed up and not made enough plastic, I hope that's not the case, we're going to start on these four and a half inch swim baits. I've already got the plastic melted up right here. And what we are going to be doing is we're gonna be doing a silver and a blue. So I've got this brand new from, I think this is Lurecraft, silver minnow. 
It's already got the glitter already in it. This is one of things Chris bought because he wanted a color in it and he sent it to me. So it's Lurecraft Silver Minnow. It's already got some silver glitter. We're going to see how well this does. Alright, we're going to, have to do a little trick on this one. Where's my white? <laughs> it's silver glitter. I bet if we add just a few drops of white though. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I don't want it to be fully white, but I need to add a little bit of color to it just to make it where it's not so opaque. We may even dab it with just a little bit of black to bring it down a little bit more. Just one drop. Just bring it down to silver. Oh yeah. That, that's what I'm talking about. Took a little bit of trickery, but we've definitely got a silver now. And we need blue. And blue I can do. He's wanting like a sexy shad type deal. Make some more white. Open this up just a little bit. these open see what we got this is half of a bag oh yeah look pretty good to me so we got here oh yeah good little finesse worm right there yes sir yes sir I'll do something special to some of these finesse worms I'll tell you about that here in a minute all right I think both of these are finally ready Ooh, it's about time. We're going to take my swim bait mold right here. We're going to do a dual color. And by dual color, all I'm really talking about is a swirl. Silver's ready. Blue with white flake is ready. And I guess that means I'm ready. Well, this is supposed to be a swirl. So how we're going to do that is we're going to milk the cow. I have zero hope for this, but we will see. All right, now let's crack these open and see what we got. But really, these did not turn out bad. You know what? Hell, maybe he just might like these. A little bit of a gray and blue swirl. It's not too bad. Got a little bit of an air pocket on the nose of that. It shouldn't affect it too much. I may clear dip it in the blue or silver. I may dip it in the silver. Fill in that little air pocket. A little bit of a, a cheat there. But I like that a lot. That's uh get to warming these up and while that's going we're going to work on our fourth color so i've got another clear batch right here absolutely clear we're going to start with our our yellow i'm trying to get a chartreuse something like that maybe we'll add a little bit of actually that may be about dang perfect. So what they wanted was that yellow with blue flake. I kind of question this color choice, especially since they were wanting and more. They were asking originally for a sexy shad color and I was trying, trying to steer the customer in the right direction or what I thought was the right direction, which would be blue with a little bit of chartreuse flake and this yellow or this silver with a little bit of chartreuse flake. But they want the silver and yellow 
with blue flake. Which, listen, that's what you want, I'll make it. I just I think if you're going for a sexy shad color, this is it's supposed to be a little bit of chartreuse. But hey, these ain't my baits. I will give you what you want. Blue and silver, round two. Let's see how we did here. Second pack. Man, these look, these don't look bad. It's really hard to get a swirl in there like he wants. Just because there's, it doesn't take a whole lot of plastisol to make these, but it's about as good of a swirl as you can get. Top, bottom. That's how we're going to do it, top and bottom. Chartreuse is going to be on the bottom, silver's going to be on the top. I doubted it, but this is going to be a good color. If this screws up, I know exactly what I did wrong. I'm supposed to have a... an equalizer pole thing. Doohickey. And I for sure don't have one. Or at least I didn't put it on. This little bar will save your life. And what I just tried to do. I cannot believe I tried to do that. Oh boy, what an idiot. All right, now I will keep equal pressure because I have that bar, but I'm an idiot and didn't put it on the first time. Oh well, let's hope for the best here because it's not like I can reuse it because I've mixed two colors. You know what? Not too shabby for not having that bar. Not too shabby at all. So now that I'm done with these colors, I would like to take a moment and mix up what I think would be an actual sexy shade. Now, Ethan, I'm going to give these to you for free. It's only going to be like a third of a pack. But I just want to show what I would do. Still need to make a couple packs of natural. That's going to be my other thing, making a pack of natural for uh, foul mouth. Um, I'm going to do that in the finesse worms. He just seems like a finesse worm type of guy. So we're going to make some up of that for him. This pack right here I have a feeling these are going to be a much better even split. All those, those other ones actually did really well. They look a little bit more natural, but this is going to be a dead even split. Chartreuse on the bottom, silver on the top, blue flake throughout. I like them. Those are going to do really well. And if you've got a jig, like a swim jig, those will work on there. That'll give it some action. An actual jig, if you need just a little bit of pop of color, those will be really good too. Because remember, those jig trailers don't always have to match. Um, sometimes doing just something a little different, a little bit of an odd color combination actually gets those strikes. All right, with this blue, I'm actually going to take an electric chartreuse glitter. And this is how I would mix. mix up sexy shad. Put a little bit of this glitter in there. Alright, with this silver I'm going to leave the blue in it. Uh, mainly because <laughs> I can't take it out. So we're going to leave this in it, but I am going to brighten up the silver a little bit. With a little bit of white. 
I want it to go a little bit lighter. All right. Let me see what direction I need to put this blending block. And I think we're ready to go. Right, let's go. So I've mixed this up. If y'all want to go ahead, go get on Instagram, get ready to DM me, go ahead and start writing out your message about how you want this color um, in some swim baits, whether it be the shorter three and a half inch or this four and a half inch. You might want to go ahead and start writing out that, that message now. I'll also accept these orders or donations. Remember the tax thing, donations, um, through my email. That's linked in the description. You might want to go ahead and start typing that out because this is about to be a absolute fire color. Get ready. All right, y'all got that email ready yet? Because uh, I'm gonna open this up and um, I'm just telling you, you're about to fire it away. That right there. Let me see if I can get a better angle on it. That is what sexy shad should look like. A little bit of yellow, blue with silver on the top. That right there, my friends, is a dope swim bait. Look at that. Uh-huh. I'll be waiting on your emails. We can make as many as you need. So, again, Ethan, I'm gonna send those to you. You can have them as you wish. Uh, play with them. Let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully this video will be out. Well, the video will probably be out after you have these, but that is my thoughts on Sexy Shad. That's how I think they should look. To lose my battery on you guys. But when you come back, I will have made a, a bug, a creature bait sexy shad same way um, so if y'all die you'll be back in like two seconds and that's what we'll have done as promised y'all died I told you you would you would die from the battery there but I brought you back I've already done shot well, that sounded really country I have already shot the uh, the sexy shad in these little creature baits so I'm going to open it up and show you the finished product which I think will be just as good as the, uh, the swim bait. Let's tear that off so I can show you. So there's one side in the silver. Back side, or the front top side is in that blue with that chartreuse flake. That, my friend, is one heck of a sexy shad color. And you know what, Ethan, because I'm such a nice guy, and you're a subscriber and we'll send those to you as well so there you go surely if I got any of the other colors wrong you'll forgive me now since I'm sending you a couple of freebies there it'll be foul mouth fishing we're gonna send him a couple packs and I know he talks about this brand I can't remember the brand name Ooh, it's making a lot of noise while I'm trying to talk I can't remember the brand name that he mentioned that makes it but he said they make a natural colored bait like it's the most natural. It's not pink. It's not pumpkin. It's somewhere in the middle. Very like true to worm color, natural color. <clears throat> so, I don't know what brand that is, but I know that I've got a little bit of talent when it comes to this stuff. Not a lot of talent, but a little bit. Try to make a natural worm color see if we get Foulmouth's stamp of approval. Alright, so I'm gonna, now that that's going, I'm gonna warm this back up. We're gonna do something special with this next batch since that is a full, full pack right there. Got 
And that to me looks natural, like a natural worm color. It's like not brown, it's not red, it's, it's just awesome looking. So, <clears throat> those are your standard plastisol worms. Nothing special, no extra salt to make them sink. Just literally all natural. However, I got this stuff and I've never tried it. And I know foul mouth fishing, you have a bait tank. And I'm very curious to see what these look like in your bait tank, if you would oblige me um, in doing so. But I have floating additive. And I'm gonna add that to one of the packs. I'm gonna designate the pack and give it to you. It's gonna be in that natural color. But I have a feeling this is gonna give it that extra oomph you want on a shaky head, even on a, uh, a Texas rig or a Carolina rig, it would be like dynamite because it would be floating, um, especially to get that tail up in the water. I'm not gonna add too much of this because it looks like the Plastisol actually floats a little bit, um, but I do wanna add some of this just to see what it does. This, this is not going to be a floating worm, but I do want it to have a little bit of a float to it. At the same time, it is a new toy and I wanna play with it. So, let's, let's shoot some. We'll see how those turn out and then this video will be done. Let's crack these final ones open. And we're gonna call it an evening. Let's see what we got. Uh, looks pretty good. These are gonna be the floating worms. You're probably wondering, if you're gonna throw them in that bath, how are you gonna know the difference? Well, I'm not an idiot. I'm gonna leave them attached to the uh, sprue right there and throw them in there and that's how I'm gonna know these are my floating worms. So we've got a pack of natural, like regular finesse worms and we got a pack of the floating finesse worms. Gosh, I think that color looks dynamite. That just, I mean, it looks like an actual like night crawler color. I'm really pleased with the way that turned out. And uh, I cannot wait to send them out to Ethan and Scott over at Foulmouth Fishing. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it, it inspires the folks that actually do make their own baits. Um, just some different ideas on making colors. All the colors I used today were either do it um, I used that Lure Craft Silver, and the rest were all um, dead on colorants. Um, you could probably tell the difference by the bottles I was using as to what I was using. The molds I was using was a Lure Craft uh, four and a half inch swim bait, a Angling AI creature bait, I believe it's called the Stinger, and then the rest were Do It molds uh, for the Cinco's and the uh, Night Crawlers. So if you want to make a bait order, contact me in email linked below or you can also hit me up on any of the social media facebook instagram you know just dm me i'm gonna get out of here if you like the video hit the thumbs up uh, leave me a comment below on what you thought of the baits uh, is there anything you would have done different on that sexy shad uh, silver uh, blue chartreuse how would you have mixed it up and uh what you think of my interpretation on sexy shad there at the there at the last and uh, as always, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, and uh, hit the ding dong notifications if you want to be notified anytime I release a new video, whether it be bait making, on the water, testing out products. Good Lord, we do everything on this channel, it feels like, uh, and I wouldn't have it any other way because it's all around fishing. And that, my friends, is what I live for. So I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys have a good one. We will see you later. Bye.